It's a time of not making noise. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. That makes a difference. <laughs> Okay, now uh, I should ask uh, if anybody has any questions to discuss. If not, we'll continue. <laughs> no questions. Very good. Mbuji, <laughs> I have one question. Oh, well, you have one question. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> uh, when you see we try to put our mind in the right place and relax, uh, is it possible to elaborate on this? We should always try to put our mind in the right place. Right place here in this case, you see, bodhicitta, you know. Uh, so bring your, when the mind goes round, will come here, you know. As also, as uh, uh, went many different ways, you know, explained. Sometimes our mind goes to the anger, hatred, attachment, ego, jealousy, so forth, you know. And then we like say, when you go your mind to the attachment you like, and you don't get it, and then you suffer so much, and you are just, uh, how I can get it, you know, I cannot relax without getting that what I attach to, you know, and you suffer so much, your, 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 your food doesn't taste good, you can't get sleep, you cannot do anything, if you look at the text, you cannot memorize, you know, all these things, you know. And when you are jealous or when you are angry with somebody else, and same thing, you know. So that's a, uh, you are not relaxing the mind, you see. It's clear, you see. So then uh, uh, bring the mind to the right place is uh, bodhicitta. I desire to attain Buddhahood for the benefit of all sentient beings. Or all sentient beings I will establish in the Buddhahood. Create that mind, which is in the text, you know. And then uh, just to you know, integrate that mind within you and get used to that, habituate that, so it is kind of relaxing there. When you could relax there, then all things into right, you know, it follows in the right kind of path. So that's called bring the mind in the right place and relax there. Just get used to that. Uh, when the mind starts going out, out, out of that territory, you know, and I can bring back. Just stay here. Mm -hmm. That's called training the mind, uh, relaxing the mind. You know? Because that you can relax the best way, because it's based on wisdom and compassion. See, when the mind could rest in the base on the wisdom and compassion, because that's the mind's nature. You know? That's the secret of the mind. So when you could relax there, that's the best way to relax, both physically and mentally. See, all the others are artificial. As I mentioned, 
It's a chemical of the mind. All the negative thoughts, you see, which brings the uh, suffering, it's got the chemical of the mind. It's the artificial. So because of there being a chemical and artificial, then so that ruins our mind and as well as body and brings the suffering, you see. So that's how fast, you know, that's uh, how to bring the mind in the right place and relax. Uh, further than that, Mbuchi, if that is the case, if we generate loving kindness and compassion instead of Ujijita, is it also resting the mind? No, yeah, yeah, you see. Or, you see. Yeah. or we, in meditation, we come to a stage where there is no discursive thought totally come out. Is it also resting the Discuss, mind? Discursive thought, yeah, the, 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 uh, no. Uh, it's one thing. Loving kindness, compassion, it's a, uh, no, first of all, you see, the bodhicitta is the product of the loving kindness and compassion. Okay? Without loving kindness and compassion, there's no bodhicitta you can produce. See? So, uh, in order to have the compassion, you need loving kindness. What means loving kindness? See, like say, your mother or your child, you love them so much. You want them all the best. No, the love. When you have that, they are not always happy. <laughs> they are always in the problem. Then there comes the compassion. So how I can help them to free from their suffering and place in the peace and happiness. So that's why I say, so you see how their connection is. Then, say, so you have the love and compassion, and they want to have all the peace and happiness, they want to be free from suffering. Now ask, what's the best place to have all the peace and happiness? What's the best place to free from suffering? No. Can you take to getting highly there and have the all happiness? <laughs> 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 You see, to free from the heat of the in the KL, you know. <laughs> so the best place is the Buddha hood. See, Buddha hood is the best place of having all the peace and happiness. Buddha hood is the best place that is free from all the suffering. You see, it makes sense. So that's how it is. Works. You see. But we haven't reached Buddhahood, so how do we put no, so our mind? No. That's why I said since the we right are, place. Yeah. Then, since yes, since uh, we haven't reached, so we have to make it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> if if we have made it, then I'll say, okay, no need to talk about it, you see. <laughs> Good argument, isn't it? Yeah, well, what, I was, Rinpoche, what I was trying to <laughs> yes. get more understanding is that uh, if we say in meditation we have that kind of awareness of mind, does it mean that I'm on the way of uh, putting my mind on the right place? Yeah, right Or place. in the daily life, how do I put my mind in the right place? Because we are always trying to aware of the mind if I'm yes. not mistaken by what yes. Rinpoche is teaching. Like beginners and all this, yeah, how do, in the beginning, how do yes. we put our mind in the rest place? We cannot say we say we are in the enlightened stage. So that's the say, but in a, as yesterday, right at the beginning, I mentioned, you know, uh, this book has a chapter, uh, ten chapters. First, the, uh, to encourage, to inspire, explains about the benefits of the Bodh Bodhicitta. So all the Buddhas talked about that. All the Buddhas contemplated, say, how I can benefit 
all the sentient beings. In what way? Lot of uh, you know, experiments, lot of research that Buddha has done in the past. The, the conclusion is the bodhicitta. You see, scrutinized. No? All these things done. So this the first chapter explains about this, you see. So now how to cultivate that mind? It needs a lot of support. It cannot just say, I have, I cultivated, I met it. It's not that kind of step by step. No. Need a lot of support, a lot of conditions. So need to purify. That's was the confession, second chapter, you know. Now, according to the seven lamps, you know, the uh, first is uh, paying homage, taking refuge to Buddha, Dharma, Sangha, and then uh, making offerings to the Buddha, Bodhisattva, and then confession. There are a lot of confessions made, you know, because you see, when you see, when the mind is full of delusions like anger, attachment, it's there, then there's no space for bodhicitta to cultivate, you see. There's no space for loving kindness and compassion to manifest. No. See. So need so confession means here purification. Purify. So that also uh, look at the dual ornament of liberation at this section of the explanation of the seven, the six, those uh, preparation according to Shantideva. In there, the purification, the confession is explained so beautifully. You, know? you can use that, that few pages, you know, to all the other practices. No. First, you know, first, how the negative karmas are met through the delusion, no. ignorance, related to the I, no. ignorance. Then there's the mind, so the mind is the boss. And then body and speech are the uh, what's called employees of the body, of, of the mind. You know? Then there are negative thoughts, taking life, so forth. It's done just only for this life, not just only to serve to yourself and to your family, maybe. No. And for the name, repetition, for wealth, done for that, these negative karmas. And the result is such immense of suffering. And this, uh, this life, this body, to feed this body, to maintain this body, for the repetition, for the family, for the wealth, after you die, we leave all this behind. We go to unknown places. We don't know where we are going to. No. But all this effort we made in our whole life, we dedicated our whole life for this leave behind. And the karma just carry life after life. And there's a lot of such consequences from this, you no, know, acts. So she says, look at carefully how much benefit is there and how much harm is there. You see. So when this, within this kind of dimension, there's no space for bodhicitta to give rise. You no. Know? So I said, purify those. 
they don't bring much benefit. No. Only bring suffering to yourself and to your all uh, no, members. So purify them. So they, basically, use, it's called using your kind of using your intellectual in, a, in the sense of the based on the reason. No? In, is reason in the empirical way. What really brings the benefit? What re really brings the suffering? Look at this and then purify them before we die. No? Just as much as you can and cultivate bodhicitta. See? So this is what is how to do, you know. Want to translate? No. <coughs> no? Okay. Uh, they want or no? <laughs> it's your choice. <laughs> oh? Yeah. Then I will have some fruits. <laughs> That's my advantage. <laughs>我的问题是我们说那个心念怎么样放在正确在修持里面嗔恨心贪心或者是报复心或者自作心这个并不能使到我们的心调柔调到寂静那边然后如果我们有发菩提心我们有就是这个愿力啊想利益全部众生啊这样如果我们有这种这样的心态它就是在正直正念里面它就
，呃，有讲到这个坎波巴大师的解脱庄严宝曼里面，呃，它里面有讲得很清楚，每一个次第在修持佛法里面怎么样趋向于菩提心，最重要就是清除我们的业障，当然也还有其他的那些修持，然后要了悟到。业障是怎么样累积起来的？业障呢？这种负面的业障，其实就是因为我们的无名妄念、迷惑啊，使到我们时常认为有一个真正的我在这个世界上，永久存在这个我，所以样样都为了我和我所我自己的东西，我自己的情绪这样造了很多业，到最后呢，那个果报是自作自受，自己承受那个痛苦。然后要了解那个心，其实就是最主要的一个英文讲就是 ，the mind is your boss 啊，就是你的老板就是你的心。然后追寻那个老板呢，其实是你的身和口这方面。所以修心是这么重要的。所以当你有那个念头杀到淫网这种念头的话，这样你只是为了这个，只是为了你自己呢。为了你自己的眷属，都是以一个我字为主的话，为了你的名声，为了那个钱财，你去去，因为这种贪念、这种烦恼呢，你去造业，造业那个业，负面的业一定是在，最终呢就是个痛苦。所以这个道理应该要了解到，然后你要想一下看，云不去说。这些东西，你觉得是世间上你拥有这些钱财这种东西，其实是不是你是为了现在这个假的这个身体，你去造这些业呢？值不值得呢？你说我的家人，我为了他们，也是为了这个你去造业，然后死的时候呢，我们知道这些钱财、名誉都不能够带去。啊，去哪里你也没有，你也不可能说有一个保障，说你知道你去哪里。所以种种这种这样的思维呢，就会使你知道这一切这个生死都是随业流转 ，we can all only follow our karma。所以这种呢，对你有害，这种它的到最后的果报是怎么样，就是值得我们去思考的。所以呢。如果有这样子的情形的话，你就知道一般凡夫做什么，他不可能在他心容纳到我们所讲的菩提心，就是从慈悲心开始，到最后舍己为人的菩提心。所以应该清除这些负面的那些业力，知道这些都是不好的，然后明白了这边的话呢，你就以一个凡夫，你本有的那个。世间的那个智慧，你也去可以取舍之间呢，知道做哪一些东西对自己有利益，知道做哪一些东西对你有害呢？通过这个思维之后呢，在你还没有死之前呢，你就知道这个人生价值在哪里，你应该走哪一条路，也就是仁波切讲的，最重要就是发菩提心，也是这几天我们上课《这菩萨行论》里面最主要要讲的发菩提心。When in wild, unruly crowd, I am careful and attentive of my wounds. Likewise, when in evil company, this wound my mind, I will constantly protect. So this is also a very good, see, way of explaining. So it's, this is uh, for us as a beginner. Um, our mind is very fragile. Uh, in other words, our body chitta is very fragile. So it's giving examples, you know, when in wild, unruly crowds. So there. Are People around creates you different types of problems, anger, attachment, jealousy, so forth. You know? So they are not tame. They are not compassionate. You know? uh, they, are, they are those uh, just. You know, uh, just looking for this life only. 
success for this life. So in such kind of, uh, so this is first of all, uh, uh, let's, let's first talk about this, this uh, example. I am careful and attentive of my wants. When there's a wild gathering, you know, so yeah, not so peaceful. At that time, if I have a wound on my foot, on my shoulder, so when I go into the crowd, I have to be very careful. You know, they may step on my foot, they may step or push my shoulder. So uh, it will just, you know, give me pain. So likewise, 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 when I, when in an evil company, that's what I, it's just I said, evil company, just only for this life, interested. So there may involve our mind, you know, say, aggressiveness, attachment, so forth. That time, my mind, the bodhicitta, is so fragile, like a wind, wound. You know? So look at that, my mind is not as strong. If somebody says bad things about me, I immediately react. If there's some place, some strong attachment, I attach to that. So this during this time, I should be very mindful. See, this wound, my mind, I will constantly protect. So that how to protect, as we just discussed before. These individuals in the crowd or in this wall, they are deluded. They don't know how to create cause of peace and happiness. They keep creating the cause of suffering for themselves and others. So I just reflect to my practice of loving kindness, compassion. Look at everything is just now, like a mirage. No. People are just dancing in the mirage no. without much sense. They're seeing everything, something real. So, seeing that, I must protect my mind. I must maintain my bodhicitta. See, if I hurt this through the, if I hurt my mind through the anger, attachment, pride, jealousy, so forth, then my bodhicitta is damaged. It injures my mind, and that will bring suffering for myself and others. So I must careful about this. So this. The mindfulness, as yesterday we went, you know, the robe of the mindfulness should tie our bodhicitta in the central beam of the enlightenment. Jiu 这个寄送
，呃，什么是慈悲心？只是一种凡夫的境界，在追求着快乐的时候，做到很多负面的东西。他们所认为的那个快乐呢，最后呢，都是不能够使他们真正得到圆满的快乐，只能够拿到痛苦。像在这种境界之中，我一个修行人，我就应该有一个正知正念，好好的要保持我们的信念，呃，不要在这种呃迷乱的众生之中呢，影响到自己的信念。这样就好像说，呃，自己要有正知正觉，不要做错，呃，嗯，任何的事情。比如说，他，嗯，作弄到你生气，你就要报仇，然后也就是失去菩提心，到最后呢，自己得到啊，限制那个痛苦的境界。所以呢，嗯，这点是非常非常的要小心，就是护持自己的信念。然后我们要了解，开始的时候。我们的心呢是比较没有这样的稳，不能够一下子能够对治人群里面一般凡夫里面的呃一些贪嗔痴，他们所做一些负面的东西，使到我们情绪化，而引起我们的真正心种种。所以呃，我们的重点呢，就是要修心，就是要保持那个正念，也就是要拥有那个。菩提心，讲到菩提心,心，就要拥有那个修持六度波罗蜜的心，然后永远永远就是关照和呃有正知正念陪伴着我们，这样才不会使到我们堕落，使到我们痛苦。我们要懂得怎么样思维慈悲心的重要，呃，然怎么样才能够能够得到真正的快乐。真正的敌人就是那个心念被无名妄念所遮住，然后起烦恼和造业。所以我们看到的很多人群之中呢，这些凡夫呢，很多时候就生就在一个幻化的境界之中，好像那个呃沙漠里面幻化的呃一些幻影，认为前面有一个绿洲这样子的现象，他没有看到事情的真实现象。我们本身呢，既然知道佛法的重点呢，就应该好好的保护我们的心念，保护心念最好就是菩提心。比如说，在这种人群、这种凡夫的那个世间上，我们都要参与他们的话，有很多时候呢，呃，他们因为不了解事情的真相，以那种贪嗔痴起起那种杀念啊、骗你啊、打你各种啊。我们就应该以菩提心来对治。如果我们反击的话，就破坏了我们的菩提心。这样最终呢，我们拿到的是那个痛苦。所以呢，最重要就是要有正知正见。我们应该时常呢，保护我们的菩提心。I have such fear that wound, if it is touched by other, pushed by other, that the pain. So much, and I don't like this pain. I don't want this pain. So, so because I fear the pain of manner injuries. You know? So, with that kind of example, why should I not protect the wound that is my mind? For fear of being crushed beneath the cliffs of hell, see, our mind is so fragile. Our mind is very wounded. Our mind is wounded by all these mental afflictions, delusions. So we need a lot of healing. We need to heal the mind. Our mind is wounded by anger, hatred, pride, jealousy, attachment, desire, so forth. And we went through a lot of suffering because of this. 
we need to heal. Before we heal, we need to protect this wind of the mind. You know? If we don't protect this, if we engage, indulge more these negative thoughts, afflictions, then we create such kind of environment that see hell realm. So he said, for fear of being crushed beneath the cliffs of hell. So that hell is something under the ground, under the rocks. In other words, we, we could be crushed under the cliff of the hell realm. So we don't want this. We want to free from this. So first protect the mind. After protect, protecting the mind, then we need to heal the mind. So healing of the mind, as we have discussed, understanding how to relax your mind, how to place your mind in the right place, based on the love and compassion. Actually, we say love others means love to yourself. Develop compassion to others means be compassionate to yourself. No. I don't want suffering. So if I, since I don't want suffering, see, I have to practice compassion for myself. But we need that other sentient beings uh, as a support we to get the benefit. See, we cannot practice compassion to the piece of rocks, piece of uh, woods. We cannot practice uh, loving kindness to a piece of rock. So we need other sentient beings for, to, uh, for support our practice. That's why practice loving kindness compared to others. Actually, it's very wise, selfish. You know, it's a selfish. You want to free from suffering. You want to attend Buddhahood, but you need other support. So it should be, it's a selfish, but selfish on the base, on wisdom, you no? Know? And get rid of, getting rid of all these our delusions, ignorance, confusions. So that's what is you see. So sometimes they say, yeah, people. When we talk about the love and compassion, then people say, we have, to, we have to love others, we have to practice compassion to others. Then says, what about me? You know? <laughs> <laughs> Who takes care of me? You know? Nobody loves me. Nobody has the compassion on me. You know? So what about me? You know? They here actually practice compassion, love to others means for you. So that we have, we can have more peace, happiness. Make sense? So we should understand that. This the uh, Miladeva once said. He said, "No, uh, loving kindness, compassion to others means for one's own benefit, and all one's own peace and happiness." is uh, we have it, we have them because of others. Yeah. He just, in a two line, spoke so beautifully, everything contains there. Yeah. So that's the wisdom of the Dharma. That's why we, uh, we are so kind of uh, was the interest to start to practice Dharma when we know them, you know, when we practice them. And at the end, we get the benefit. Like Buddha, who practiced for three limitless kalpa, bodhicitta, who attend? He practiced for others, for every session beings, for us. But he attended Buddhahood. And <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs>
第二十，第二十讲的就是坐去小伤痛，倘由嗔护伤，聚众喝欲垂，可不护心伤。这边讲的呢，就是呃，好像在一个大环境，有很多凡夫都不懂得事情的真相，做很多负面的，或者是做了很多善恶里面的恶业，然后呃，我们呃，很多时候呢，我们在这个人群里面打个比喻，就是说。我们本身有那个伤口，就是在个五浊恶世的世界里面，很多时候在打滚之中，我们也就是和众生之间呢，因为我们所造的恶业，自己也有痛苦，本了有了这种这样的伤痛，我们的心呢，心念呢，其实是很脆弱的，我们伤就伤在我们本身有这种业障，呃。各种负面的那些因果里面造成我们的痛苦，所以我们需要把我们遇到的这种痛苦呢，去解决、去对治。我们是被众生里面和呃，我们看到是众生伤害你，其实很多时候就是我们本身呢，并不很多时候就是在五度里面呢打滚，就是我们所讲的。贪嗔痴慢疑这方面，呃，这种烦恼大滚造业，所以啊，我们就要面对这些痛苦，这个是很多凡夫众生都面对的。所以了解这一点呢，我们需要对治它，需要把这些痛苦，就是我们的伤口呢，去怎么样把那个伤口呢，好好的使它复原，把这个病清清除掉。这样还没有能够恢复伤口之前，在这种这种这样当下的环境之下，第一点呢，我们就需要有一个保护轮。如果不懂得怎么样去保护自己的心的话呢，时常去需要起那个负面的情绪和起烦恼呢，一直这往做那个呃世俗的东西去跑的话呢，制作一这世俗的物质东西呢，最后呢。我们得到的果报就是三恶道，也有那种清心下道、地狱道这么严重。明白了这一点，我们就会起一个畏惧感，就是说从现在起呢，我们一定不要再沉迷下去，使自己渐渐的堕落。所以，我们如果要去除这些痛苦呢，最好的保护自己就是修持佛法，然后就是。修我们的心，那个凡夫的心，所以要修凡夫的心呢，怎么样子呢？第一点，我们需要了解怎么样去降服这些妄念、这个心、这些烦恼，怎么样把那个心呢能够静下来，怎么样把那个心呢能够放松，怎么样把那个心呢，啊、呃，放在一个真正的那个地方，使到我们能够走向一个康庄大道。这一点呢，唯有开始明白慈悲心的重要，升起慈悲心，然后呃，你当你升起慈悲心，对全部的众生的时候呢，其实呢，这个慈悲心呢，你悲悯其他众生呢，到最后呢，得到的就是自己得到那个快乐，也就是帮到自己。嗯，我们本身呢是不要痛苦。所以，不要痛苦之中呢，有一个对象使你能够升起菩提心，能够呃有一个众生给你去对治你本身起的那个贪嗔痴慢疑这种这样的负面的心态的时候呢，其实你可以讲说，这些众生啊、呃，使到你残起烦恼的呢，不是你的敌人，其实是帮助着你的修行，能够达到。呃，你的目标，那个目标就是到最后你成佛，你能够得到真正的了脱。所以，那不就这边有讲，如果你，呃，要，呃，修持这个菩提心，你是对着一个势头来修持的话
，你不能拿到真正的呃呃效果，所以这方面呢，你就会知道众生对你的重要，因为有众生的存在，不管他多么的坏，他打你、骗你、杀你，各种各方面呢，其实他是支持你。如果你懂怎么样修持这个心的时候，你用菩提心、慈悲心呢来去对住了，你对他们起慈悲。到最后，他拿到那个利益的时候，就是因为你这个菩萨道，最终呢，你得到成佛的果位，你得到真正的永恒的果位。所以，我们应该不舍全部的众生，应该以慈悲心对付众生。然后，在你，在这个过程里面，你就可以清除你们的无名业障和你迷惑的各种各样的那个思想。然后，呃，很多时候人家不懂的时候。你整天讲慈悲，慈悲对每一个众生慈悲，爱他，像你很多反复的讲，整天爱他，像我自己，所以爱我啊，没有人能够帮助我。是，但是，好像刚才所讲的，不知所讲的，当你能够对众生起了那个慈悲心，你就是修持这个慈悲心和菩提心的时候，到最终呢，你就，呃，达到那个。呃，会复回，清除了那个业障，达到会复回你本有的那个清净心呢？你得到的就是那种真正的清净、安宁、真正的快乐。所以这一点的话呢，其实呃，众生是帮到你的。所以弥勒阿爸有讲到两点，就是呃，用慈悲心啊、呃、对人，其实呢，它的意义呢。最主要呢，到最后的重点是帮到自己的利益，呃，然后呃，从这点你就可以看到，如果你有那个慈悲心和悲心嘛，呃，到最后你能够影响到其他众众人，他们也变成能够呃，因为你而利益到他们自己，这个你就可以看到那个佛法的智慧了。所以有时候，我就讲你，如果你修持佛法是相当有趣的，你就是以慈悲心和菩提心，看起来好像一直在给别人，布施给别人，但最终呢，这个呢就影影响到你，你能够得到成佛之道。嗯，所以自利利他是非常非常的重要。Whatever time we are doing, t e Twelve, okay. <laughs> oh, last time, okay. Yeah, first, please take a deep breath. Exhale. Now, please, <coughs> please reflect this morning. What we have went through. The six parameters, especially the meditative concentration to calm the mind, place the mind in the clear, one-pointed, virtuous, one-pointed mind. That's called samadhi. Easing the mind in a peaceful manner, and then wisdom, see, to see the face of the mind. So I said, as mentioned, the greatest of all things is the mind. So we have every responsibility to relate to our own mind. If we could reshape the mind, replace the mind where it is, where it is through this training, we get every benefits. And we can be free from all the sufferings, because the mind is the greatest of all things.
we scrutinize the mind and realize it. So to do this, we need all the support as explained. I will protect my mind by all means. This is the discipline that I need. I don't need many other disciplines. Means when we could protect our mind, all the disciplines are included. It, it doesn't mean we don't need other disciplines, but all other disciplines are included within that state when the mind is protected. Protect from all the non-virtuous thoughts. We protect from these because they are the cause of suffering. So we see this. So as mentioned here, when we are in the unruly crowds, like a big gatherings, dancing, singing, yeah. so we are so attentive with our small wounds. We may hurt from this wound. We may injure from this wound. And we suffer. Since we don't like that, we are so attentive. So likewise, in the unruly crowd of the samsaric beings, we have to watch our fragile mind of the bodhicitta. Sustain that mind, protect that mind, so that we may not go to the hell realm or suffering. Our peace and happiness is well protected. So these different methods will help us to gain our bodhicitta, build our bodhicitta stronger. So please reflect on this and just see what makes sense. What it helps us. Dedication, prayers, where it is.